Hi guys, welcome to the next part. Now in this part, in logical reasoning part, I'm going to cover up what came in the CAT exam in the logic section this year. Again, according to the NDA, we can't publish the actual questions. All the questions which are used in this question are just for a sample. If they look like or happen to be an actual CAT question, then it's a purely co uh, 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 coincidentally, I have not, nothing to do with it. All right. All right, so verbal now, if you are engineer, especially for the engineers, this area logic is your main savior. Or logic is one area which is going to save your time. Fine. Because there are a lot of questions in logic which you can do easily and with 100% accuracy. Fine. So according to the verbal 2010 principle, in the verbal section out of total 30 questions, 20 questions are going to be in from verbal and 10 questions are going to be from the logic section. Fine. So those who are weak in logics, again like same in quant as well. So 33% of your paper is going to be LR or and mainly puzzles which everyone can do. Fine. So let's start with the overview. So this is your verbal section and your LR section. So probably 20 to 21 question on verbal and 9 to 10 question on your LR. Fine. So if I talk about the LR section in detail as we are going to do now. Fine. There will be 8 question based on puzzle. That is the best part of CAT as compared to any other exam. If you pick up NMAT, SNAP, ZAT, IFT. There will be a lot of question on LR. But for CAT section there is only one main type of question which is logical puzzles. Fine, so 8 question out of this and maybe 1 question on FIJ, truth liar or anything else. Fine, FIJ or truth liar, not and. Fine, if you see last 2 papers, there is only couple of questions only common. Fine, so what I am trying to say here is that main thing is puzzles. Fine, out of that everything is easy, all this section is a very very easy part. So probably out of these 10 questions your attempt should be 8 question. Critical reasoning I am not listing along with this, critical reasoning I am covering up in the verbal section. But yes, that is actually a part of a logic only. Fine. So, motor body 8 to 10 should be your tar target in this section. 3 logical puzzles, 2 of the puzzles will be very very easy. 2 sets will be very very easy. So, 6 to 7 question, no problem at all. Remaining 3, 1 set or 3 question is will be a little bit more difficult than the normal. Fine. Now, this set I can say, say safely say will be based on the CA taking basic book, the phase 1 books if you've got those books. And this section will be based on the CA taking phase 2 books which is a lot number 2 we have given to you, sorry, on which is kind of also called green book, which is more of advanced level, all the actual CAD questions, fine. And one more thing, for especially for engineers, if you are banking heavily on this section, which I used to do earlier when I was preparing for MBA, that rather than concentrating on verbal, I will try to score 100% marks in this. If you score 100% marks in this area, you will only score 78 percentile, fine. So those are scoring around 50-60 percentile, yes, for them it's a gain only. That in LR section you can do 78 percentile, at least from you are touching 78-80s in this section. If you only do LR in the CAT section, if you don't do verbal at all, fine. But on the other hand, if you are targeting 99 percentile, then you have to make a mark in the verbal section as well. Fine, so don't bank everything on this thing, this is your 100 percent marks. Yeah. Alright, so puzzles. Critical reasoning, these are the two main areas. So, puzzle, seed taking book, if you've got a seed taking basic book, chapter number 6, 16, 17. These three chapters will cover 8 to 7 questions. Yeah. And if you have the green book, I'm talking about the LR part of that book, that itself is more than sufficient for everything. Trust me. Stop doing anything you are doing. If, if you're doing this part, is more than sufficient. These phase 2 books are more than sufficient for your CAT exam. Fine. Critical reasoning again last chapter, chapter number 24 on the reasoning book is more than sufficient to get one mark which is going to be in the paper. Alright, so let's start with the first part which is a logical puzzle. Eight questions out of puzzles. Out of them two things are fixed. One, uh, chapter three questions based on arrangement. Arrangement is a linear arrangement that A can come then B cannot come. If B comes, C cannot come. Something that kind of an arrangement like six doctors are there, four engineers. Doctor cannot go with engineer. That kind of a question. And three questions based on matrix. Matrix based question is again a very very common question. Pick up any exam, CAT, CMAT, ZAT, NMAT, SNAP, there will be a question on matrix. Yeah. So three, three, six question is these two things. Fine, that is I am giving you now only to do all these things. The remaining three questions will be a little bit maybe typical, maybe a circular puzzle, maybe something else. Fine, but these are the common questions. So let's start with the first logical puzzle. Please pause the video and try to do this question yourself. Fine. 
Now this is a typical question, one set and there will be three questions based on that. And this is one of the, this kind of a question was there in CAT 2008 onwards, every year you are getting one question, one chapter like this. Fine, this year as well there was one, one set which was based on this. So please try to solve this. Alright, so if you have paused the video and try to solve this yourself, now I'm going to give you one shortcut, one revolutionary method to do, do this question. Fine, but the moment I see this question, there are five men, six women, advocates, doctors, fine, subject to these, these conditions and I want a team of two advocates, two doctors, two teachers and not more than three ladies. Fine, now what normally we do, we used to make a chart, we used to make a table of everyone who is there, who is not there, what to do, what not to do. Fine. I'm giving you one easy way out in which you can do this question within 60 seconds, including the reading part. 30 seconds to read the question, further 30 seconds, 30 seconds to read the question, further 30 seconds to use options. Fine. Let's start with this thing. Look at the time now. I'm just starting off the thing. A, P and U should always be together. A, P, U. Alright. A, P, U. Alright. A, P but no U. Out. Fine. 10 seconds per option, one down. B cannot go with D or R, so B is no, no DR, there is no B or DR, B, R. So this is gone, B should not be with D or R. 20 seconds down, we are down to two options. Fine, or in other words, I normally give 10 seconds per option. If there are six statements given to you, 60 seconds more than sufficient to solve your question, any question. Alright, so we now left it two option, but E, have to go with Q, so E, Q is not there, C and T have to be together, both of them are there, D and P cannot go together, they are not there, C cannot go with Q again, not, so all the conditions are exhausted and we are left with two options, fine, now we look at this thing, there should be two advocates, two doctors and two this thing, fine, now if I look at the chart here, if I would have done it, I have mentioned this thing only, there are five men, five men, six females, six females, there have to be not more than three ladies, so ladies have to be three. So basically from this thing, I should only use three or less, yeah. So A, B, uh, C, P, T, U, three ladies, all right. A, C, P, R, T, U, four ladies. So out, answer is B, Bombay, sorry, A, Apple. Now if I look at this thing, this one statement, gave me one answer right, option number C was gone. This one statement got me option D out. And last statement, this part got me option B out. So left is option A. Trust me, 60 seconds to do any damn question which you were not able to solve. Again, I request you to do make a chart, take your time because accuracy is more important. But using option is 30 second job, 60 second job to solve the question. Fine. So try, try this question at home. This is a wonderful strategy which works for almost every question which is based on arrangement. There is a different strategy when the thing changes to matrix based question. Yeah, we can't use the matrix for a strategy here or same strategy in the matrix. So every type have a different type of method. This method is only valid for these type of question where it's more of an arrangement kind of thing. Take it. Second question, can you try to do it yourself? Yeah, again same thing. I'll start with option A, P and U have to be together. A P and U is together here, A, P, U is together here, A, P and U is not here. So gone. B can be go with D or R, B is gone here with R. So, B can, so two options down. Now I want two male advocates. This one line should be more than sufficient because there are five males and these three are advocates. So A, B, so your answer should contain A, B. B, Bombay. Yeah, that's all. 30 seconds. A, P and U should be together. This statement gave me one question right. B cannot be D or R. Second statement gave me one question right. One option, sorry, out. Third, consists of two male advocate. Got me one question out, one option out. Three, three instruction, three statement out. Left is the answer. Right. This is a wonderful strategy which works across the board on any type of a question based on arrangements only. Yeah. Alright, third question again, pause the video and use my strategy now, use to use options to solve this question. 
you'll be surprised to see how easy the team team consists. So I don't know. Even I don't read the question, I can solve or get, get two options out. APU have to be together. So APU is here. APU is here. B T U is here. Is gone. And again U is here. Two option down. That's all. Now look at the other part. Have to be two doctors, three teachers. Now I have to use three teachers. The E T U have to be there. So E T U is there in second part, but E T U is not here. Answer is B Bombay. How you got the answer? Because there are three teachers there. So three, all these three teachers have to be there, which was not there in A, B and C and D are already out. Answer is B Bombay. Yeah, that's the beauty of this type of question that you can solve this thing, and you have to get hundred percent marks in this area, because for every engineer, this is the main area. I couldn't convert. I couldn't get a call from I M Ahmedabad A B C because of verbal session. And trust me, at that time the logic was not part of verbal. Verbal was strictly verbal. Fine, but now because they merge verbal into this thing, you can easily score. Fine. I got ninety one nine nine in my uh, overall CAT. I was a CAT topper in verbal. I got uh, uh, less marks because of that. I couldn't get a call from A B C. I got a call from other B schools, other I M S, but I was not interested in those I M S. I was more Interested in ABC. All right. So moving on to the next part. FIJ is your next part. Find which is there in common. FIJ is the facts, inference, and judgment. There are some statements which are called facts. Find some statements, judgments, and some inference. Fine. So please pause the video and try to do it yourself. Fine. I am now not going to detail of solving these questions because I want you to solve because this is not the major time. We don't have time to take care of that thing. Fine. If I want to start with this thing, the last statement was very very helpful. Many members of the countries have already drafted a plan to do this thing. It's more of a fact. Yeah. Same second last statement. WTO is a truly government global organization aiming at free trade. So because these two are facts, the only option left left was C Calcutta. So please again try to solve these questions. These kind of questions they are very very helpful for you. See taking green book cover all these kind of questions which have actually come in CAT will be very very helpful for you. All right, last part there will be one question might be one question on FIJ or verification of truth. For those who don't know this, this is also called a satcha jhuta or truth lal liar liar. Fine, there are three kind of there are three friends A B C. One of them is knight. He always speak the truth. Another two are knave who always speak lie. So there are three statements. Based on that, you have to answer this question. Fine. So please pause the video and try to do it yourself. Fine. Basically, you have to make a table out of that. All right. So if you make the table, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. If you have done this topic, if you've not done this topic, please go and do this again. Fine. If you join the meeting, there's a video available online for this thing. So for the last minute uh, preparation. Fine. So if you solve this question, C is true. C is the knight. And A and B are naive. That's the answer for the question. All right. Moving on to the last part, which is the mock taking strategy, which I want to talk about for some time. Now here there are around 10 mock strategies, heat map strategies, and everything given online for C taking students. I'm just giving you an overview about this thing, how to strategize yourself. Fine. So quant and DI first section, 30 questions, and verbal LR second set, 30 questions. Fine. So I want to start you to start with verb quant because quant is always Scoring and accuracy is high. Even though you are weak in quant, please start with quant because so that you are uh, uh, because quant need more of a concentration than verbal. Fine. So anyway, whichever way you want to start with, you can even start with verbal. But I would personally prefer to start with quant. Fine. So again, out of 21 questions, uh, 45 minutes is more than sufficient. So probably two minutes per question. Fine. Time dedicated for that. And your target is to do minimum 14 question out of this. Fine. DI nine question, twenty five minutes, three minutes per question is more than sufficient for DI. So your target is at least seven questions. So probably twenty one is a minimum attempt. It's not the maximum attempt. It's a minimum attempt. Attempt. Same thing for verbal two minutes per question, fourteen to fifteen attempt in this side, and seven attempts in the LR section. So probably again twenty one plus. Fine, twenty one plus with a very good accuracy will catch you around ninety five, ninety six percentile. Or if you are targeting ninety nine percentile. You have to do twenty question right. 
earlier I used to give you attempt that if you attempt 24 you will get 19 percentile but because the accuracy vary from person to person now I'm saying irrespective of whatever your accuracy is I don't know and I don't care as of now my target for you is 20 marks 20 question right you do it by doing 25 and making three question wrong or you do 21 make one question wrong whichever way you do it's your responsibility to touch this target fine so out of this thing out of, in 140 minute out of 60 question your target is to do at least 42 to 45 fine if you're touching 45 which is three-fourths of the paper 75 percent of the paper you have to solve within 140 minutes which is two hours 20 minutes all right all the best thank you all right so these are the workshop which i conduct from uh, ce taking so if you can attend the workshop that'll be great if they are all detailed is available on all on cetaking.com fine now what i want to do in last few days before your exam now the, the objective of this workshop is that now i've taken the day one of the exams and you are going to take your exam after a few days now in this uh, time what to do and what not to do fine so what to do is a basics i've told you there will be seven to eight questions which will be based on your solid examples or easy question all the important area which i've discussed in your earlier video work on your weak areas Identify shortcuts. If you can join C taking workshop, trust me, it's more than sufficient time. If you target, for example, in this workshop, you target two workshops a day, within six days you'll be able to complete a syllabus. And the objective is to increase your score by at least 20 marks in CAD papers using the, 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 this workshops. Alright. Followed by mocks. If you are already scoring well, please take one mock a day. Fine. Actual paper is very, very important to go through all the actual papers of CAD. Last but not least, don't lose hope if you are not prepared well for the CAD. Don't worry, there are other exams coming up. SNAP, NMED, CMED, ZAT, IFT, there are a lot of exams in the pipeline. CAT is just taken as the first exam. Fine. All the best. Thank you. If you want to contact us, you can contact me on 9820500380 if you want to join us. Or you can join me on Facebook on facebook.com slash arrivegun for any kind of information. Fine. We have an online forum where we are uh, uh, discussing all the similar questions of CAT. So please, if you can go to the forum, that'll be great for you to join this forum. Fine. All the best. Thank you.